Hello everybody, welcome to Minecraft on the Block Technic Pack Tutorial. Um, this is a new series, yes, a new series of, for those of you that are like, oh man, how many series do you need? Um, this is a new series that I'm going to do, and this series is going to be a little different than most of the series that I've done to this point. Um, for those of you that have been watching, you'll know that um, what I usually do is just a, kind of a let's play type thing. Um, just start in a world and just do what I think is fun. And it doesn't mean that there isn't some tutorial aspects to it. I definitely like to try to teach, but I don't do it in a strictly teaching manner. And, and really what I want to do is a tutorial on how I play the game. Um, a tutorial on, on what it, uh, the approach that I take, and then also hopefully just kind of how do you get going with the Technic Pack quickly. This definitely doesn't mean that it's the best way. So while we're while I'm talking, let me let me get get going on gathering wood and whatnot. This definitely does not mean it's the best way. In fact, it's it's most likely not going to be the best way to do everything. Um, I also don't think that I'm like a master at, um, at Technic Pack. And in fact, again, I know I'm not a master at Technic Pack. There are people out there, um, a good example, Direwolf20 is a, does great videos. Um, very, very good. Knows a lot about it. Knows a lot about all of the all of the mods that are coming out. In fact, his isn't Technic Pack stuff because he's built his own mod pack, but um, but he does know more than I know probably strictly about the Technic Pack so, um, or about the, the mods involved. So um, I'm going to just do it the way I do it. I'll try to have as the information be as accurate as possible. Obviously, I'm going to um, look things up and I'll, I'll try to keep that going. But anyway... Um, the point is that this is just going to be a little bit different than what you're used to seeing. I'm still going to do the Taggarts. I'm still going to do the other series. Um, I'm probably not going to spend as much time on making things look pretty. The other series that I do, I like to, to I like the architecture and the work. And I'm going to try. I can't build anything ugly on purpose. It's just not in me. But I, I may not spend as much time as I normally do trying to make it look good. Um, so anyway, let's just dive in and I'll talk a little bit more about what I think the series is going to be as we go. Um, so we spawned a brand new world, right? And we actually got a great spawn. Um, you can see that there's these, uh, this is kind of the, the, a bunch of obelisks together, these uh, Thaumcraft obelisks together make a, I think it's like an obelisk, I don't even know what they call it, again, see right off the bat I don't have the right information for you, but the idea here is that if you complete these, um, as in you pull, you go find obelisks throughout the, uh, the world and you find pieces you can you can extract pieces we'll talk about how to do that once we start finding them and you recreate this thing it will become a place to and i think maybe we just have to i think maybe all we have to do is just put one piece on here this is a nearly complete version of this let's go look over here that one might even be more complete is it possible that they spawn fully complete that would be yeah, that one is that one's totally complete. I would think that that would be somewhat of a of a rarity, but this one looks to be totally complete. So that's pretty cool. I've actually never seen one of those complete because I've never messed around with it. So anyway, we've got a fantastic spawn. Um, and let me put the seed up here. There's the seed. Screenshot it or do whatever you need to do. It's a negative one two two zero four seven eight four eight three. And you guys can follow along with me. Um, this will uh, this will be a fantastic spot. We're right next to a big forest. We have a big hill over there. I haven't done any exploring, but I do see sand. So this is everything that I could possibly want for a tutorial series. I don't know that we could have gotten a better spawn. We got a bunch of cows. So let's do this. You guys saw that I, I knocked down a tree. That's always the first thing I do. You're going to want wood. Um, got a couple of saplings out of the gig. In fact, if we go back over here, we might get a couple more because we didn't actually get all of the uh, leaves but right over there see they're dropping saplings this is an interesting phenomenon sometimes when you first spawn a world there will be even though you didn't chop a tree down over there there will be apples and stuff being produced and those trees will just drop apples but the saplings I'm not sure about anyway um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this wood put it up there and turn it into wood planks now I'm not gonna go through the real basics um, of everything you guys know how to make a crafting table and if not um, there are a lot of really good just survive and thrive uh, well Paul Soros survive and thrive videos um, or a lot of really good kind of first night you can kind of see me do the stuff you take wood put it up here turn it into planks and then four planks in a row make a crafting table which you need pretty much right away um, we're gonna do a couple of things I go for basically right away um, I'll get 
a couple of things. One, a sword, because we need a sword. Um, and it's very simple and cheap to make. Um, and then we'll also make a pickaxe and an axe. Um, in the Technipack, having an axe gives you access immediately to... Um, Sorry, gives you access in... I need one more. <laughs> okay, what did I do here? Sorry. Gives you access immediately to Tree Capitator, which is something you're going to want to have so that we can get a lot of wood quickly. So that wood axe is going to break pretty quick, but we don't care right now. We just need to get some. So we'll go ahead and pick up our workbench, and we're going to Tree Capitate one of these big trees. So you just hit the bottom of it, and the whole thing's going to come down, right? So that gives you everything in that tree, and that was a big tree. And it should drop all of the saplings and everything included. So you can see the saplings and the apples and stuff get dropped with it. And it's interesting, Not we didn't get all the wood, and it didn't actually, so I was wrong about that. I'm not sure why. I think at the new tree capitator, so in the Yog Box, which is also part of the Technic Pack, I do a series uh, called Adventures in Yog Box. Um, here's another interesting spawn thing. In Adventures in Yogbox, um, I don't know if it's the new version of Tree Capitator. I know there's a new version of Thaumcraft in there. Um, we'll take these apples for sure too because that's good food for when we're just starting out and we don't have a lot of food. So um, another good hint is to use something else to break leaves uh, besides your axe because it will, uh, it will do some damage to your axe. So if we want to get up there and try to break some leaves use a use a tree sapling or something and we can get up there and we'll grab those apples and stuff so anyway this stuff will start to kind of naturally decay and we'll end up with the saplings and everything on the ground um, what I was saying in the yog box I'm pretty sure that the updates that have been applied to the yog box have not been applied here um, I had to I was playing on the wrong version for a while because I was still messing around with an old version um, I had I had switched back to a previous version um, on purpose to try to get some of my um, stuff out of an alchemy bag because they had equivalent exchange had been taken out of one of the versions and when I did that I forgot to go back to the latest version I went to a newer version but I didn't go back to the latest version and that caused me to be playing on an older version longer than I should have so anyway um, that's something you want to do is is make sure you have the Technic Pack set to the latest version if you want to be playing on the latest version um, not usually the I don't I don't at least play on the latest um, non-release version. I only play release versions, but you can also play developer builds and stuff and get the new the new mods. So, in fact, let me do this. Um, we've got a lot of stuff. So, the, the new tree capitator takes everything down. It will take down the, the trees and the, the leaves. They just immediately turn into a pile. Um, and this version doesn't do that. So, I'm pretty sure that must have been in the yog box where that was, where that was happening. You can see all those saplings and things up there. Um, that we need to get at and we'll just let them decay but I want to go check something real quick um, I will be right back I want to make sure that I am on the latest version of the Technic Pack so I'm not starting with a an erroneous version I will be right back alright guys I'm back yes we are on the latest build so that was right um, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna move on so we're not really that hard up we don't care so much about the saplings we're gonna have plenty of trees and wood so we don't really need to worry about it um, it just is nice I always feel bad about leaving saplings hanging out so um, anyway we do have a couple of things that we need to get done though and it is already getting late um, I would like to get some sheep because we would like to make a bed pretty quick so let's we got three sheep right here we should be able to get three wool and we'll do that and let's also get ourselves a couple of cows. We won't kill all the cattle because we're going to want to use them for uh, we're going to want to use them for breeding at some point, especially if we stay around here. So I'm not going to kill all of them, but I'll get a couple of pieces of leather and some and some uh, some meat so that we can eat. Although we've got apples, which is really good. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this as well. I'm gonna turn up my brightness. I'm going to turn it all the way up just so we don't have to worry about it. So you guys can see really well. And one of the things that I liked about being here was that we have a, a really nice spot to make a first little home. We can just dig right into this mountain and not worry too much about anything. So um, we just need to get a safe place to spend the night and a place to start mining from. And this is exactly what I would have picked if I could have picked it. I love just a cave that's or a, a, a 
concrete or slack concrete uh, cobblestone wall that I can just kind of mine back into that's right on the surface um, that I can be assured is gonna is going to give me a way to, to mine down through some cobblestone because we always want to get cobble so and there we go we already have our first visitor and whoops hit our, our one key and make sure alright so he fell down let's just go ahead and wall ourselves in here pretty nicely there we go and you can see we have the ogres out there I don't know if you guys caught that there's a green ogre those things destroy everything in their path when you get close to them they are the bane of my existence um, oh, there was an arrow watch this when you destroy a block that an arrow is on it falls and twangs into the next block so all right, here we go. A couple of things we're going to do to start with. So we've got our crafting table with us. Um, let's go ahead and set that down. And let's make a furnace. So we haven't found any coal yet. Coal is obviously our best bet for anything, but we definitely need to make some, uh, some torches. So we're going to just get some charcoal. You can take wood planks, put them in. Wood planks are the least efficient fuel, but they do allow you um, to make charcoal out of wood. So we'll take a couple of pieces of wood and we get two, it will it will do two items per piece of wood plank and you'll get one charcoal per piece of wood. So that's basically going to get us, we'll just do the, the four that we were going to get. We'll get a couple of wood torches, or a couple of torches and and then we'll use the rest of the wood for planks and other things. So we're going to upgrade our tools and then we're going to do a little mining. And that's really the first thing that I end up always doing is mining. Um, I, I just like, especially when you're doing something like, in fact, that's probably good enough. Especially when you're doing, maybe not, might as well use the last piece. Especially when you're doing something like Technic Pack. It's a little bit different in vanilla Minecraft. I mean, it, you do need to do your mining. But if what we want to do is start to get Technic Pack items going, we have to have a lot of different resources. So there's going to be two things that are really high on our list. One, to get a lot of the ores and things that we need. And that includes um, things like copper, tin, silver, stuff like that. Um, but it also is going to include, let's go ahead and put a torch up in here. Um, rubber, which we are going to need to get really quickly, and that's going to come from rubber trees. So once it becomes day, we'll we'll venture back out, and we'll do some rubber tree um, searching. But for now, let's go ahead and make a bunch of make a bunch of wood. I'll make a stack of wood for now, and we're going to need quite a few sticks out of that. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my tools right away. Um, the first thing we're going to do is get a stone pickaxe. In fact, I'm going to make two of those. Oops, like this. Okay. Um, we're also going to make a stone shovel. A shovel is going to be nice for mining. We run into a lot of stuff that way. And then we're going to make one stone sword because our other sword's about to break anyway. So let's do this. The other thing I like to do pretty much right away is get a chest going um, just to store stuff in. So we're just going to put a chest down here as well. This is going to be a very temporary home. Um, like I said, I'm not going to make super fancy homes, but my homes will be a little more fancy than this in general. Um, so anyway, we have some some wool that will allow us to make a bed and reset our spawn point. I am, I am actually playing on um, difficulty. Actually, I'm going to put difficulty hard. I should have had that on hard the whole time. Um, but I'm not playing on hardcore. Um, and I'm doing that because in the tutorial series, I want to make sure that if, if I die, I can keep going. The purpose of this is not just, just for me having fun, which is what the, the primary purpose of the other series is. Um, in fact, it's the only purpose of the other series. Um, I, I, if I'm having fun, you guys will enjoy it. In this series, it's going to be more than just me having fun. I will have fun. I'm really excited about it. Um, but it's going to be also for you guys to learn. So I don't want the series to end with me dying and wanting to start a new world just because I died. This is going to be us taking a, a beginning game um, or a, a, a fresh game and turning it into... Um, as much as we possibly can with industrial crafts, just so you guys can get the idea. So when I start making my staircase, really the first thing I do is just start digging down. Um, dig, dig high enough that when you put in stairs, because I always put in stairs to be able to run back and forth up and down from my, from my mine, dig high enough that when you put in stairs you won't be hitting your head, so give yourself a little bit of help there. So I think what I'm going to do, um, I am going to cut out a lot of the boring stuff on this series. Um, I, I always do cut out 
boring stuff, but I'm not going to just, I, I, I want you guys to be able to see the process, but I also want to, to be able to, uh, to get the interesting stuff. So let me get down a little ways to where I can find some more interesting stuff and we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll talk about a little bit more about kind of what you should expect and, and we'll get our first night out of the way. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I've been doing a little bit of mining, and it's become daytime. Um, I haven't actually found anything interesting yet, so I came back up to make myself a few more tools. So I'm going to do that. Um, I just like to have usually as many pickaxes as I can. Um, I got a little careless, and I didn't replace that one as I was going. So I usually repair them. If you just take an old pickaxe and a new pickaxe, you get a little bit more than the sum of both of the... the uh, uses that are left in the pickaxe these bars indicate how many uses are left and so i usually try to 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 get the most out of them is be as most efficient as possible take them a little bit below halfway on each one of them and then combine them um, when i'm mining but i did find my first ore so we're going to go do that um i'm going to eat real quick just i like to keep my health up so eating an apple is like one and a half i think it's not the best source of food but we didn't need the best source of food we we have some stuff we can cook up if we need to but found a piece of ore so we're just going to grab that and obviously that's going to take us into some some more ore um, that'll let us get some diamond going i also found some uh some coal which we're going to need so not a complete waste of time but you guys can see that i basically just dug straight down um step by step straight out of our hole and I'm going to keep doing that for a little while, but while I'm digging, I was going to talk a little bit. So um, in about 50 seconds, you guys are going to hear a buzzer. That is going to be the 18 minute mark. Um, I'm going to keep these videos somewhere between probably 20 and 30 minutes um, for the tutorials. And this one may be a little bit shorter um, and I might try to post it quickly to get some feedback and see what you guys think. Um, but I also, I also normally will, um, just try to, like I said, try to, to take on tasks that I can complete in them at that amount of time um, or kind of modularize them into um, subtasks that we can that we can do in a couple of series because I don't want to get too many too many videos that go beyond 30 minutes um, for the tutorials. I just I, I know for the let's play people are definitely into longer videos and they appreciate those. But I think for tutorials, people want to get a quick... They, you need to be able to use the information and absorb it a little bit. So we're about to hear the buzzer right now. There we go. So you guys that are familiar with my series, that's just uh, onlinestopwatch.com that I use to count down however long I want the video to be. And I go 18 minutes because I always go beyond the end of the buzzer. And so if I want it to be about 20 minutes, then I'll probably usually do that. Um, yeah, so again, this is going to be a little bit different than my normal stuff, and I'm hoping that it will be a, a good a good way for you guys to get into the Technic Pack. I would just really like to see people um, pick it up and start playing, and people that it may be a little bit intimidating. Um, the downloading, I'm going to put a link for downloading and installing the Technic Pack in my... Uh, in the description for the video and it's not difficult to do you just go to technicpack.net i believe um and just download the technic launcher all right there's our first forestry that's appetite we will be using that some we don't need a ton of it but it's good to have so that's appetite Anyway, go to technicpack.net, download the Technic Launcher. Um, that's one of the beauties of Technic Pack. Um, the thing that Direwolf does, he puts all of his own stuff together, and it's really cool. You can control everything that way, and he has to make his own kind of tweaks and modifications, but he's in control of it, and he doesn't have to wait on people to update the Technic Pack to get the newest versions of this or that. Um, and that is very nice, but it's not quite as... as approachable of a way to get into it as um as just taking the technic launcher so that's that's a good way to do it and so here let's uh we got some copper ore right that's one of the ores that is an industrial craft ore and there's copper in red power and um i don't know if there's copper in equivalent exchange not equivalent exchange build craft um but they only need one because they're all cross-functional so we we have they have done that for us they took out the other ores that's something that um, Direwolf20 would have done himself or anybody that creates their own mod pack, but we don't have to do that because they've done it for us. So again, it's not, it's a good introduction. And if you guys ever want to just, you know, create your own mod packs, download your own mods and we can add mods to this. Um, but if you do it this way, you don't have to worry about block ID conflicts and, and working out all the overlaps and all that stuff. And you get the Yog box, which, um, I think is one of the coolest, um, packs that I've seen, mod packs. It's kind of a, a RPG medieval 
style more than the modern industrial craft build craft stuff um, and i'm doing a series on that it's called adventures in yogbox so go check that out all right so we've gotten a little bit of what we need um we're gonna need some tin and some iron i will keep let's see how far down did we get my my plan is usually just to go down to about we're at y38 so we got a ways to go still um, what I'll probably do, I think this video is probably around 20 minutes right now. What I'll probably do is go back up here, um, get some of the iron going, get an iron pickaxe in case we get down there and we find something interesting. I'll do a little bit more mining straight down until I can kind of get down there and show you the way I, I normally work that. And then we'll wrap up the video then. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back and I've done a little bit more mining and I found what I believe to be tin. I don't think it's silver. No, it is silver. Okay, so this is silver ore, um, something else that we will definitely need. Silver ore is very useful in a lot of things. Um, we will be using that, um, but I'm looking for tin right now. Let's see, is that tin or is that more silver? No, that's tin. Excellent. So we did get some tin and some silver. So right down here, if you just kind of dig straight down, anybody that's going to follow along with the seed, you're going to find some tin and silver. So that's really good. We got a couple of the things that we need, um, and we're getting some extra coal here. So we've got tin, silver, um, got some more copper. There's a little bit of extra copper, and we've got a little bit of iron. Um, I don't need a ton of iron right, right away, although I'm going to need it pretty quickly. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of kind of where we're going, one of the first things that we're going to want to do, um, like I said, I, I really just try to get the all the materials gathered that I'm going to need to to really jumpstart my career here in industrial craft, um, living in a, an industrial world. So um, we do a lot of mining right away, and then one of the things that we'll build right away, we're going to need a generator so that we can run electrical machines, um, and we're going to run a macerator and a con uh, an extractor. And that's going to allow us to, to make the best use of rubber and ores. So a macerator will take, whereas a, a furnace will just take a piece of ore and turn it into an ingot. Um, so if we have a piece of iron, we turn it into one iron ingot. Um, if we have a macerator, it allows us to take a piece of ore, turn it into two pieces of ore dust, and then we can take the ore dust and turn those each ore dust into an ingot as well. So it doubles the production. And then we can actually even in get um, better machines, more advanced machines that will do uh, things like maceration, which can be a really slow process. It'll do that process even faster. So that's kind of what we're going to work up to right away is we're going to have um, probably the first two things that we make will be a macerator and an uh, extractor. And then pretty quickly after that, we'll be making a... Uh, an, uh, electric furnace and that allows us to cook things more quickly um, and we're going to obviously have to power those a generator initially is a good way to do it um, except that it uses a lot of coal so that's one of the reasons we we always want to collect as much coal as we can and as much as we find um, the generator will use coal and it's not the most efficient thing that we can use um, so to make it as efficient as possible we'll create a bat box which is a way to store energy units that are created by a generator so we minimize our um, waste a little bit and then we'll convert into using something like solar power or wind power or um, we can use geothermal power there's all kinds of different options we'll probably um, probably go to solar pretty quickly. That's one of the pretty common ways um, to to upgrade and get a little bit more free energy. We'll use the sun to our advantage. Um, and speaking of using the sun, one of the next things we're going to do really quickly is get um, an energy collector. So that's an equivalent exchange energy collector. And that will allow us to get, um, get started down the road uh, towards equivalent exchange and energy collection, which will then uh, put a put a condenser on that thing eventually and we'll be able to create our own create our own matter out of uh, out of EMCs um, which is the energy units that equivalent exchange uses so we've got a lot of work to do and we're going to be getting there pretty quick but I just wanted to kind of get you guys started with this so again to summarize and we'll head back up here I'm not sure what level we're at but um, before we go I usually end up just mining until I break everything I got on me as far as pickaxes, but we're going to need to get an iron pickaxe anyway, so that's probably what we'll do is go back up and then we'll start there next time. Um, so just kind of to summarize what, what's been going on here, um, the first thing you got to do is get yourself some wood. So you're going to punch a tree just like you start any Minecraft series or any Minecraft game. You're going to punch a tree. You're going to get some wood. You're going to create a crafting table. You're going to make yourself some rudimentary wood um, wood tools. Like I said, I usually make a sword, um, a pickaxe, and an axe so that you can get uh, a little bit more, quite a bit more wood right away. You might as well get yourself a stack or a couple of stacks of wood just right away. There's no reason not to. 
um, and then head for the head for the caves. And then once you find yourself a cave, um, just really the first you I, I mean, there's really no reason not to make yourself a shovel and just start digging straight down. That's a totally legitimate way to do it uh, until you hit some bedrock. Well, you don't want to dig straight down. You want to dig yourself a stairway down. Um, but if it's it's nice if you started near some mountains and stuff and you can just go to a mountain, find a some cobblestone and then start digging down you're going to dig through all the different layers you're going to find um you're going to find the the copper and the coal um you'll find it at lower layers as well but it's it's a little more abundant up higher so you'll dig down through those layers and you'll get you can get yourself a, a nice a nice mining um tunnel going all the way down kind of like we have here and then eventually we're going to want to get down to around i usually start standing at around layer eight or nine and doing some branch mining up i think you can mine up like six or seven blocks so you're you're going between let's say we stand at level eight and we're going between eight and 14 or something like that so anyway that's that's what i end up doing um to collect the resources but yeah get yourself a bunch of wood make your your basic stuff um you can see that i actually took some of the copper that we had and i turned it into copper ore um, i'm not going to do much of this i'm going to do it as we need it because again if i anything that i use in the furnace here i'm only getting one out of but once we start using the macerator i'll be getting multiples so i have enough iron that i can make myself an iron pickaxe and i will think i'll just do that right now and get us ready for our next um for our next adventure i'm gonna need one more stick at least let's make a couple more and whoops not sure what just happened there <laughs> And we'll get ourselves an iron pickaxe, or I mean, yeah, an iron pickaxe. And we'll use that just in case we find the ores that we can't mine with a regular stone pickaxe. Um, I usually use stone as, as long as I can until I get a good amount of iron so that I don't waste it. But um, we'll leave most of this stuff up here. And we haven't needed the shovel too much, so we'll be good for now. Um, go ahead and eat a couple of apples. And in fact, we're going to run out of those pretty quickly. So let's just go ahead and cook those up. We'll throw those in the furnace so that they're ready for us next time. And we're on another night cycle, which is which is fine because we're going to spend at least probably one more um, half of an episode down here mining. Um, I'll probably I'll probably start the episode back up um, when I'm just getting ready to mine, and then I'll break away and kind of do some mining off offline a little bit until I find something more interesting. And then uh, and then we'll we'll take the next step, which is going to be once we get a lot of our resources together, we're going to go find a place to build a really basic workshop, and then we'll start putting down some simple machines, and things will start to pretty quickly, um, pretty quickly accelerate as we start building new more and more new things. But one of the things we're going to need to do pretty quick again is go find some rubber trees, um, the industrial craft type of rubber trees. These big trees are actually um, red power rubber trees. You can take the 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 wood and in a condenser which we don't have yet you can turn those into rubber um, there will be other uses for those in the future as red power um, is continually updating um, but right now that's that's one of the things that we can make industrial craft rubber out of them but what we need to start with is um, industrial craft rubber trees that we'll get some saplings from and bring them back and make ourselves our own little rubber tree farm. So anyway, I hope you guys liked it. Um, please give me feedback and let me know what you think of it. I, I want this to, to be a good way for people to learn and be excited about getting into the Technic Pack and just take away some of the, the scariness of the, the Technic Pack. It really is not that scary. There's a lot to, you know, some of this stuff... Um, but it's really easy to it's easy to find out. There's a lot of resources online, and I'll show you everything that you need to know, um, at least to play the game the way I do. And the way I play it ends up being an awful lot of fun for me. So anyway, um, I'm going to sign off. This is Minecraft on the Block Technic Pack tutorial series, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Follow me on Twitter, Minecraft OTB. It's a good way to give me suggestions as well. And I read all the comments, so please leave comments and let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys soon.